Milk and dairy products have accompanied us throughout history, adapting themselves to the requirements of society in each period. Nowadays, we're aware of the impact that human activity has on the environment. Therefore, we must try to adapt our activities, such as the preparation of dairy products, to this new perception of the environment. Milk is the raw material that's common to all dairy products, and it is obtained mainly from milking cows, sheep and goats. Once the milk has been obtained, it's transported to the dairy industries, where it's then treated. Once the milk has been treated, it can then be packaged for consumption as liquid milk, or concentrated to various degrees in order to obtain evaporated, condensed or powdered milk. Milk is also the main component of a long list of other products, such as different kinds of cheese, dairy desserts and milkshakes. Following are several pollution prevention opportunities that can be applied to various production stages of some of the products mentioned earlier. General processing of milk. Control of raw materials. The implementation of a quality control system for raw materials can reduce and prevent the acceptance of inadequate raw materials that may become waste or later rejected products. Separation of sludge produced by clarification. The use of centrifuges for clarification of milk helps to separate little impurities contained in the milk. These impurities are separated as sludge. The separation and subsequent treatment of sludge allows us to considerably reduce the pollution of wastewater. Reuse of energy in heat treatments. The total or partial elimination of milk microorganisms can be obtained from pasteurization, sterilization or UHT treatment. These treatments maintain the milk at different temperatures for specific periods of time. The use of heat treatment equipment with recovery sections that use energy from the heated product to heat the cold product allows us to save up to 95% of the energy used during the process. Reuse of water-milk interfaces generated in heat treatment. At the beginning of every pasteurization process, the equipment must reach the required operating condition, and for matters of hygienic safety, water is used instead of milk. When milk starts entering the equipment, there is inevitably a mixing of both fluids that requires being removed from the process. The adequate management of this water-milk mixture is essential to reduce pollution in wastewater. If this interface is duly gathered, it can be used as raw material to prepare other dairy derivatives. Cheese production. Avoid dumping of whey. One of the main environmental challenges of cheese industries is whey, the liquid phase obtained by cutting the cheese curds. Some 9 litres of whey are generated for every kilo of cheese produced, with a COD of approximately 60,000 milligrams per litre. An adequate design of the production lines allows us to prevent the dumping of whey in the sewers, for example by placing collection trays where dripping of whey can occur. Channels can also be used to collect the whey obtained all along the pressing belt. 
The installation of somewhat more complex aspiration equipment in the fermenting tanks can help minimize dripping along the line. Whatever system is used, tanks are required to store the whey until it reaches its final destination. Use of whey. Once the whey has been collected, its final destination must be decided according to the possible environmentally friendly options. Given the proportion existing between the production of a kilo of cheese and a litre of whey, it's easy to imagine that the design and management costs of the wastewater treatment plant will be radically cheaper if the whey is recovered. Following are some alternatives for the use of whey. Using it directly for animal feed. Filtering the whey and producing other products such as melted cheeses from the fines retained in the filtering. Obtaining lactose from a process that includes the following stages. Evaporation. Concentration. Separation by decanting. And finally, drying and packaging. In this decanting stage, the whey obtained as a byproduct has a lower organic load, but can also be used as an ingredient for animal feed. Other alternatives for the use of whey are recovering the protein parts of the whey, which can be used as ingredients to produce other dairy products. And using the whey as a base in culture mediums to produce cheese or yogurt ferments. Control of brine. Immersion of the cheese in brine, a sodium chloride water solution, is one of the methods most used in the salting of cheese. Brine can deteriorate during its use as it takes on soluble substances from the cheese, or owing to a possible microbiological contamination of human origin, or from the water or tools used. Establishing a quality control plan of brines will prevent the generation of rejected products. Recovery of brine. Even if a control system is implemented, at some time the brine will exceed its adequate limits for use and have to be replaced. The elimination of large quantities of brine causes environmental problems mainly due to its organic load and high conductivity. An alternative to dumping large quantities of this polluting fluid is to reuse the brine, which requires two stages. Hygienization of the brine back to the specified values using filtering techniques permitting the elimination of microorganisms and other suspended substances. It's then necessary to add sodium chloride to recover the original salt concentration. Production of butter. Use of buttermilk. Due to its composition and organoleptic characteristics, Buttermilk is an ingredient of great importance in the preparation of other dairy products, such as quark-type cheeses, lactose and cattle feed. Production of yoghurt. Recovery of the product accumulated in the pipes. In the case of semi-liquid dairy products, such as liquid yoghurt, once a specific production operation is finished, and before starting the cleaning routines of the plant, the pipes may contain an important quantity of product in perfect condition that has, however, not been packaged. <laughs>